Welcome to the second video on how to create a flexible product feed. In the first video we gave you an overview of the process. Now we're going to show you the first step in creating a feed. In this video we will show you how to create the feed mapping. Let's get started. First we need to name our feed. This could be any name you want to give. For the purpose of this demonstration we're going to call this demo. Next, we want to create the feed mapping. In here we have some predefined mappings, but for the purpose of this video we want to start a new feed from scratch. Now we have to give our mapping a name. Again, for the purpose of this demonstration we will be calling this demo. Next, we select the output format required. This could be CSV, TSV or XML format purpose of this video we will be choosing CSV. Now we start selecting the fields. In this first one we have category information. For the category information we want to add the category code. This is a unique four digit code target components assign against each category. We also need to select what we're going to name the map. This is the input on your database. For this we will call it cat code and then we add. The cells will then appear in the box to the right hand side. The next we have a category description. This is the descriptive text we assign against the categories. We'll call this one cat des. You can then continually add until you have filled all the fields in that you wish to take. Under here we have related categories. Related categories for an example would be that we would relate motherboards and CPUs together. Please note that you will need a primary field of a category code for the information to relate to. Next we have custom. Custom is if you need to put in a blank space or column. In this case we will just call it blank. Next we have pricing information against the products. We will come back to the pricing information. So we're going to jump directly to product information. The first box we have is delivery. Again we're going to map this so we're going to call it delivery. Most of these are very self-explanatory. Next we have description long. That's the long description you would see on the Target Components website. The short description. So we will add the short description to our mapping. The next one we have is description updated. And we'll add that. Description updated this will show when we last updated our description, allowing you to update the description on your site when we update ours. Due when, we will call that due. This is if a product is on back order with the manufacturers, you can, if you wish, display the delivery date or the due date on your own website. Next we have EAN codes. These are useful for Amazon or eBay. The next few are URLs. These will give you the URL for the image. So we want an image file and we will add the image file. The image pack file name will provide you with a zip file name where you can download the entire image directory we have. Next we have manufacturer. We will add that. We have manufacturer's code, and we will add that in. The overview is the description we give on the overview of the product on the Target Components website. Stock level, stock code is the code that Target Components give to each product, and then the weight this we would like to see stock level and 
we also want to see the stock code. And now we'll return back to the pricing information. From here, you will be able to select the cost price or price off. When requesting a cost information, you will need to set your sell price from your own system. If you select the price mapping, the sell price will be calculated for you and we will see that how that is done in the next video. For this, we will put solo price and we believe we may sell five off, so we will call it five. If at any point you want to edit any of the headers you've made, simply double click and it will bring it back up. You can remove, cancel, update or update. Here we're going to now save the map. We're happy with the information and that is now saved and the demo is now available for us to use. Hope you can join us for our next video. Thank you for watching.